I'm Tracy Quimby and I'm an artist. I got involved with Faven about a year and a half ago when my art was at a community theater. The rest is history, You've just been with them for about a year and a half now and they're amazing. Faven is an online marketplace where mobile and home-based vendors and artisans can find and book temporary retail space at local venues. So you can think of us as the Airbnb of retail space. Every artist is an entrepreneur, but not every entrepreneur is an artist. Making something out of nothing, creating new rhythms and new sounds and lyrics for songs that never existed. And that's really what entrepreneurs are really tasked with doing, is building things with very, very limited resources initially. Our partnership with HCC and the InLab led us to helping out at the Susie Steiner Award Ceremony. Um, we had some local artists display their artwork at the ceremony, and Tracy's artwork was something that stood out to Rebecca from NACI. And so she was very intrigued by how the artwork was done. She loved how Tracy incorporated some pieces of paper from a book into the artwork, and she inquired about it. And I followed up with her, and that was really it. So we commissioned a piece of artwork that Tracy is creating specifically for the 20th anniversary for NACI's organization. The project is a three foot by four foot canvas, stretch canvas. It will incorporate their book and it will be very bright and it's for the 20th anniversary. And I can't say too, too much because I don't want to give it away what it's going to be. I think what's really cool about the book is that it really does represent both the mission of NACI at the same time the mission of Andy and I and it's all about having an impact. How can we transform lives through entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship education? For every six no's or 10 no's, you get a yes. And be patient. Patience is a big thing if you're going to sell your art anywhere. You have to have patience because nothing is immediate. I mean, it could happen at a show if your art's up and somebody just sees it, that could happen. But as you can see in my room, I have plenty of art that could be sold but it takes the right eye for it. There's so many different types of people, different types of art and creatives, but everyone can relate to something within the art. So I think when Tracy unveils the art piece that there may be one particular color or one stroke or one shape that everyone in the audience can relate to. And I think it's the same with entrepreneurship. I think one of the more profound and beautiful aspects of Faven is it's a organization, a business, that creates opportunities for artists that otherwise would never become available to them. By giving artists a chance to come onto the Faven platform, connect with different venues, be able to meet new potential audiences of individuals that might become interested in their art is really an amazing thing. It's a, it's a community building aspect of what they do, but it's a really critical piece of the fabric of any uh, community and I, that's what I take away from Faven most of all. The point of trying that people don't do, they say they can't do it. Have you tried? And that's what I taught when I was in New Hampshire. This canvas behind us is actually all of my students for the time I worked there and they worked on that canvas doing other projects. So it's all just background of all projects that we did while we were in school. Once you have that urge or that feeling or that tugging motion in your heart, to just follow it. It's not going to be easy. Nothing is easy in life, but we do well at doing hard things as we do them over and over again. It is hard. It's all hard work. Nothing that is good is ever easy. And I will listen to certain songs over and over again, and that keeps my brain very focused. With ADHD and being a painter, it's a very hard thing, but when I do get in the groove, I can paint canvas after canvas after canvas. I'll forever be indebted to artists for all that they have done and if we can help aspiring artists to learn how to monetize their art in some way so it can sustain a career in art, that would be great. I'm Tracy Quimby and I'm an artist.